Hi everyone, welcome to day nine of 14 days of Waiapa and I'm Sarah from Waiapa Work. Hopefully you have just uh, come across from our Facebook page to our YouTube channel to have a bigger yarn about day nine, um, which is the ninth element, which is the air element. So as I was saying on the Facebook page, Post, um, Waiapa is a story and it is a story of connection, it is a story of all the things that are important in the cycle of life and um, so we go from the beautiful tree element, um, we build a nest in the movements and we launch out as the air element. Now that can be a bird, it can be a butterfly, a bee, um, anything that flies. We pay our respects to all things that fly and we remember our interdependency um, on everything and Mother Nature has created everything for a reason. So we have to remember that at all times and um, just as I was saying in the other post, um, you know, we're now knowing how important bees are as they die off unfortunately because of all the pesticides that we're using and so, you know, that's one thing that we can do um, in honoring the air element is think about all of the things that we can do to help um, take action in uh, preserving the air element um, from bees through to birds. So, you know, it could be as simple as using a vinegar um, solution to spray your plants or your um, you know the fruits or vegetables that you might be growing in the garden and instead of using uh, you know pesticides and chemicals um, which will also be better for you to eat and to um, breathe in um, it could be not littering so remembering that everything that goes on the ground ends up in our waterways so you know we've all seen those horrible photos of birds having um, you know plastic rings trapped around their beaks and and so they drown or um, you know having um, penguins having it wrapped around you know plastics wrapped around their feet so that they drown or they suffocate um, and of course on cue the wife a dog starts barking <laughs> um, you know so when we do the air element um, it is about remembering also what we can do uh, to give back to Mother Nature and um, in helping um, to create harmony in our environment and it's important for us to understand our responsibility in doing that. So the other thing I love with the air element is when I launch out and um, I am a bird usually and I look down um, and take perspective and um, remember you know thinking of the bird's eye view and to always look at things from a different angle um, not only for problem solving or looking at issues but um, also remembering that there is that everything passes um, that everything is temporary and um, that in flying over something we look down and so I'm look sorry I'm looking down now during the air element um, looking down on those those issues and um, and thinking how can I look at this differently? How can I take my own ego out? Um, and know that I don't you know, I don't I'm not always right Jamie would beg to differ <laughs> I'm always telling him I'm right um, but I, I Know that I'm not and um, and I think that's always important to remember and the air element reminds us to do that and to look at things from different ways. Um, you know, the air element for me is also really important because I consider the air element um, to birds to be my spiritual guides and um, my spiritual animal guides. And um, so whenever I'm looking for confirmation on something, um, I ask for a sign and a message and you know I always get it I always get a feather that suddenly appears in front of me um, and tells me and confirms to me that that things that I'm doing things right um, or gives me a message um, or you know a bird will appear um, 
just at a time when I'm asking for, you know, communication um, from, you know, all the things that we don't see. And it's really important to remember that there is so much that we don't see. Um, that I think it's something like, you know, 0, 0 0.8 um, of things that we see, or only things that we see, if that's, does that make sense? Um, basically, I'm trying to say that there's lots of things that we can't see, lots of non-physical things that we can't see. And um, the air element reminds me of that um, and that I do have um, that there's lots of things around me supporting me um, but I might not necessarily be able to see them so I thank the air element particularly birds for give, sending me their flowers as their flowers their feathers as messages sorry I'm having problems today speaking um, so Tomorrow is day 10. Oh my goodness, we are really creeping towards that super moon at the end of the month. And um, I hope everybody is um, got awareness around that and isn't going to cray cray already in the lead up to it. So, um, the ninth element, remember, is about um, taking perspective. Um, being connected and taking action to look after all the things that fly. So we will see you tomorrow. Jamie sends his love um, and um, hopefully I'm honoring his um, speaking abilities in these videos and um, hopefully he will see you tomorrow. If not, it will be me again. So we'll see you then. Bye.